YouTube. I just wanted to take a quick second before the video start to remind you to apply to an ARG regional close to you. All you have to do is visit dragonballsuper-regionals.com and select the regional event you wish to attend. Remember the first 200 players that register receive two tournament pack volume one, two tournament pack volume two, and an exclusive play mat. Also, don't forget, if you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon to un unlock exclusive weekly content and user callers for my Discord channel. All Patreon backers are also automatically entered in my monthly giveaway, but don't worry, you can also enter the giveaway by using the code KitchenTableMeta at checkout when buying products from Popo's Kitchen. And on top of that, you also save 10% on your entire order. Thank you guys so much for the support and enjoy the video. We are back. Actually, I'm gonna go, go, go here first. First of all, we got Scotchy. What's going on, guys? He's here. But he actually is the one who brought, brought the PC so we could actually stream. So if it wasn't for Scotch, we wouldn't be able to do the stream. I'm 100% honest with you guys. Uh, so we gotta clean up this, this overlay just a little bit for the next round, but uh, besides that, everything's looking pretty good. Going to round five, we got two players that Scotch are pretty familiar with. So I'm gonna let him do the talking about them. I'm gonna pop up the gameplay overlay. I'm gonna give the uh, okay to the judge to get things started. So, you good? All right, here we go. Scotch, take it away. All right, so I don't know much about Peter Katani, but he is a member of PPG. Uh, from what I've heard, he's a phenomenal player. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean the PPG team is really good. I mean, they, they took, uh, they took, uh, well, uh, Hartford. That's it. Hartford, yeah. Yeah, I've been there for a week. I forgot the whole place existed. So, yeah, so Hartford, they, they took that down. So, obviously, a very good team. Uh, probably one of the best teams out, I mean, as far as credentials goes right now. Yeah. Absolutely. And Richard Castle is a local here in Orlando. Uh, I've known him for a while now. He uh, went undefeated the first three months this game was out. Was literally destroying every single tournament. Uh, it was my hand in picking this one. I picked oh, okay. this match. Yeah, this is your so, match. Okay, yeah. so uh, I, I wanted to see what Castle's got for us today. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I tell you, I mean, this is probably going to be the last Mecha Freeze that we try to do, or this is probably going to be the last one. But you know, we did this one. This one caught our eye a little bit because it was mono blue. That's a big deal. I mean, I, I'm sure he probably plays Bloodlust and just uses the ability to do He's it. Got a Bloodlust we, yeah, in his hand. As so. it turns out, there's one in his hand, so it's probably pretty good <laughs> detective work there, Dusty. Uh, but you know, still, it's pretty neat. This mono blue, something a little bit different. Richard Castle playing that blue green Vegeta, which I actually think is a great deck. And you know, we don't know if he's playing hand destruction or the more mid ragey version. Both I think are very strong. I believe he is playing hand destruction. Yeah, I mean, I believe he is. Uh, it's a very good deck. It's a very good deck. It, it attacks Cell, you know, in, in a good spot. Uh, it's also just uh, very hard to play rounds, you know, and it's also one of those decks that's pretty straightforward to play as well. So it's, you know, absolutely. It's Both players having a standard start: Bulma for Peter and a Majin Buu for Castle. That is just the standard blue. If you don't have the Bulma, you have the Buu. Uh, we're gonna see a beer is being put in the energy along with the Jocko. Uh, right now, I think Jocko is one of the best cards in this format, solely based off of the versatility against certain decks like Cell. Um, objection, of course, ramps coming out. Can you have him? Can you move his life a little bit more? Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that, guys. So I get that fixed. We should have done that before the round started, but actually, uh, still trying to recover from that sh that stream shutdown. So, a uh, little bit. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Do you know how many were there? How many life were there? Because it just looks like black, essentially. One, two. I, I can probably catch it. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Six. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, those black dragon shield sleeves come off a little rough on stream. <laughs> those are, yeah, those are, those are, uh, solid. It's like a solid black yeah, bar. Yeah, like, like just one life. Like, one really big life. I wish you guys could have seen Dusty's face. He's like, is, is that, like, something on the mat? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is the, is the mat being censored right now? I don't know. All right. You signed up for you. Put your hand back. Is that six? I'm fine. Yeah, just a Please make your way up to the stage. Once again, if you sign up for Yu-Gi-Oh! When you're at number three, your event is about to begin. Please make your way up to the stage. He took a life after 12 and 6 for this critical sure. attack. 10,000th 10, attack. We'll see. If he wake his next turn, we know I'm right. Both There's players going objection. straight into objections, so both of oh, them are yeah. going to try and ramp. Father's and Command Man, the main board for Richard Castle. Yeah, I mean, hey, I mean, you're expecting sell. It's a good card against it, you know? Absolutely. Uh, for those of you asking how many players we had today in attendance, 288 for Orlando. That's so awesome. That's awesome. That's insane. Smoking. That's a, that's a yeah, 288. That's top. Uh, it's nine rounds, top 32, which is a big deal. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we we uh, we had more than you go here, which is a big deal too. I mean, it's an it established game. 160 or something like that. It's almost double. Jeez. I know. It's ridiculous. Guys, this game is this game is a real deal. So we have Peter playing his objection, going to four life. Falling a little bit behind. I have no excuse now. I have a co-host. <laughs> All right, awakening, drawing his two cards. Get an objection off that and a uh, freeze up. 
It's the Frieza that combos. The Termin Frieza, I think. So we are definitely seeing uh, some, some yellow in Peter's deck, but clearly, I assume it's just going to be, you know, Bloodlust, yeah. Dodoria's, and Crusher Balls. Yeah. I don't expect to see anything else. Look at his hand, he's got more Bloodlust in hand, so... Right, we actually all had an update just to, to blue-yellow. Uh, to blue yellow. I mean, this is, cl this is clearly blue-yellow. He, I mean, he, he has two yellow energy out, it's, it's not mono anymore. Is it though? It, yeah. Is it though? I'm not so sure that. He told me mono blue. But again, you, you would say mono blue specifically because you're not playing green. <laughs> but then again, at that point, it would sure. still be tricolor. So it's just, it's kind of preferential. Uh, we're going to see, Richard's going to go ahead and take Ooh. that damage off the leader. We're gonna the Weiss block? I know. Dab and Weiss. He goes, he goes down to four now. Dab and Weiss. Vegeta down to four. I like this Weiss. This Weiss is really good against self. It's really so good it, against pretty much everything. Yeah, I mean, it's a 20,000 blocker, which, you know, not much can get through that. Uh, it's really good against Vegeta. Makes sure he, you know, he can't put more critical power. In fact, Rich is going to take a look here. What is this guy? What is this guy? <laughs> this isn't the one that gives you an energy. Instructable blocker, hello? Is this a promo? Can I help you? Yeah, it's very good. Very good, very powerful. Solid hand for Castle, though. Solid hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has, I mean, he has, to, he has a Gohan promo, too, in hand, which is... He does. He does. Plays for days. Plays yeah. for days. He's going to go ahead and charge. I don't know if I can agree with charging those, those Trunks. Yeah, I though. think it's okay, too. I mean, Trunks is um, very good. Very good card, obviously. Um, very powerful. Wakens. Draws two cards. Uh, but you know, he's, a boon and he's not going to win this game in the early game. Trunks is a, is a very good tempo card. Um, and so I think he's just planning for the late game. He's like, he just played a blocker out. He's wanting to go late game too. I think my late game is better than his. <laughs> blocker, Dab and Weiss coming into play. There he is, 20,000 to 15,000. Get so. a Dab with me. That's Richard, got, Richard got to look and see if he's going to comp up here. He can just use the boo and go to 20. Force Peter to have to maybe try to use some cards to save it, which Peter looks like he's. Does he have a sensor beat in hand? No sensor beam. Well, the Whis can't die, I don't think. It can't die to skills, but it can die to... Oh, it can oh, die no. to battle? Yeah. All right, cool. Both Richard players having it. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. There he goes. I'll say, no, Richard, 25 and 20. Kills him. Good play. I was wrong. You were right. I am yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we have a counter for how many times I'm right and you're wrong, we're going to have a... Oh, you're right. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. You're right. I can't leave this guy out. Scotch. I know. I'm not getting any note. You can't scoff. S C O T C H T Y. It's got to the T Y. Actually, I could go over here too. I can make a scotchy wrong number. We can just keep it. Like a like a, like a, a curling a, kill yeah. count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> All right, 15,000 to 15,000. Mecha Frieza into Vegeta. Let's see how it goes here. You know, for a match like we'll this, boo. I'm surprised it's moving as quick as, or as it is, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, that's one thing that's really, um, you know, I'm a slow player. I, I mean, I'm going to admit, I take so much time, because I'm like, so afraid I want to mess up. So I take a lot of time going through my, my plays and stuff. Um, and so it surprises me to see these players playing at such a high level and playing so quick. Absolutely. And every time it always surprises me. Um, you know, they're they're not playing. I, don't, I haven't seen like a huge misplay here, um, so it is possible. I, but again, I don't want to. I don't want that to sound like you can't take the time and play, because I think that it's always better to take more time than less time. That way, you can make sure you make the right play. But it's fascinating to see these players playing so fast. I agree 100. percent It always blows me away. Interest, why, interesting yeah. main deck options though for Castle, having the Piccolo and the Father Sentinel Man. In yeah, the main I mean board. he's uh, you know he's just wanting to win that game one again. This format is it's even these even though these players are playing real fast, it's very easy to get draws in this format, uh, especially when you know, you're playing a hand destruction deck. And so you know Richard is he, he has his deck uh, built to be able to win game one against a variety of different decks. Very it's very smart. Bring out the five drop go tanks, and yep. we see the bloodlust on that go tanks. So that's two. That's two bloodlust out. I bet you Castle's wishing he hadn't dropped those trunks in his energy right now. Yeah, they would be pretty good right now for sure. <laughs> but again, he's a, he has, like I always say, a small novel in his hand. So um, you know, I don't think he's worried about dying next turn or anything like that. And you have to get. Speaking of the devil, had one. He shall appear. Absolutely. There it is. I heard it tell that there is a uh, a uh, a chill deck still playing. Find you it. think you could? You think you could find that for me? <laughs> if you could, you'd be my hero. <laughs> I've, I've sent my boy Jimmy the Dragon out to help me find this uh, this chill deck. I hear I, there was two, but one dropped. Did you potentially hear record? No, I didn't. I didn't. We'd love to get him on the stream. To be honest, though, let's be fair, you just want to see your chilled tokens on stream. <laughs> no, 
All right, so 25,000, <laughs> double striker. Actually, not double striker, got Cobola, so just 25,000. Uh, this is Frieza. Oh, two Frieza. Currently, there's 47 minutes left in the round. Yeah, our times would be a little bit different, though, right? Because we have. Yeah. yeah. So we, we started about four minutes late. So realistically, they're only like. Are you are you answering questions? That what it is? I am. Oh, okay. I am. Yeah, you have your fancy iPad down. Got my fancy fancy iPad. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger for us. So Peter's got two yellow energy and four yeah, it looks like Peter's at three blue life. energy. Currently at three life. He's going to go ahead and swing in on the leader Vegeta with the Mecha Frieza. Drawing his card off of his auto ability. We see two Sensu Beans in Heck of a hand there. Heck two of a hand. Very defensive. Is that another Dodoria behind it? Yeah. No, it's a Bloodless behind the it's Dodoria. A, it's, a, it's a counter, two Sensus, a Dodoria, a Copa Lust, and a combo card. He has a heck of a hand. Jeez. Very defensive. Insane in the membrane. Very good. We got a sense of being coming in on that Vegeta. Yeah, yeah and Richard did the right thing there. He used a, a, a counter, a, a, a dice, to represent that he has sense of being. So, Absolutely. Very That's good. That's something I can get behind. Oh, yeah, definitely. Effectively shutting down one of those freezes from attacking, mm -hmm. unless he wants the combo. With the hand that he's got, I'm not quite sure he wants to waste the combo power. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's, I mean, you know, I, I think, you know, as Peter, you're just like, okay, this happens. This stinks that he had a sense of being, but that's a sense of being out of hand. But it looks like he might be going, I think he's proving us wrong. And he drops the Dora. Dora. I actually like that play a lot, actually, because he has, <laughs> he has no. Uh, <laughs> he's taking another beam. He has, he has no threat right now, which is really bad. And so what he wants, what he needs to do is try to find a threat, which is what he was using the door for. Very smart play. And uh, it looks like he's just going to pass our uh, combo with the Gohan. The, uh, combo with the Gohan. Yeah. I think that's an interesting mechanic that they added to this game. Combo I do. Summons. I like it a lot. Yeah. And we are going to see the second Frieza swing into the Gohan that just came to the board. Yeah, he's, he just came in. Just, hey, what's, what's up, guys? What are you guys into? And he's going to... Frieza's like, you're dead. He's going to drop that 5K. <laughs> Go up to 20. 20 to 15 here. The what 5K combo piece. Yeah, it's 20,000. So 20,000 from Frieza. Yeah. I don't know if Castle's digging or if he just really wants that card alive. Okay. With everything in his hand. Yeah, he has so many cards in hand. It's take, it took him longer to hand shuffle his hand right there than it took him to play the first three round, <laughs> three round turns. So, uh, yeah. Are people playing more of this than Cell? I'd like to think there's more Mecha Freeze here than Cell. I think so. I think so. See, a lot of different variations of it, too. A lot of really cool ones. There was the blue-red version that was uh, actually the tricolor one that was last round that was sick. It was awesome to see that. And then there was this one that's like basically just blue-yellow, which is, you know, really cool. And, uh, yeah, just been seen a lot of really cool versions of it. The first round, I think we saw green-yellow, which was super cool, too. I've seen a lot of hand destruction Mecha Freeze here today. And the oh, really? third one coming out, pain, pain Actually, just pain three for it. I mean, that's good. Good play. Uh-huh. Again, trying to swing into that Gohan. He wants a Gohan gone, and he's going to drop one of those beans on it. Jeez. Using his ability, so that it's free to untap two energy. That's so good. I don't care. That's so good. Mm, I guess. I mean, like, it's... It, what? You just untapped two energy for free and drew a card? And gave your guy 5,000? Hello? That's so good. Mm -hmm. Ripping the Frieza, too. Frieza and the Origin. Yeah. I've seen a lot of these Mecha Frieza decks run that Frieza. And I actually really like it. I think Frieza's really cool. Really powerful. Absolutely. And here he comes. There he comes. Bouncing one of the Frieza's to his hand with another combo. Which you can play. Uh, put that... Put that Gotenks at the bottom of your deck. Absolutely. I get another guy. Absolutely. I mean, essentially, he just turned the Frieza into like the the Goku promo. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> return, to, return to my hand, kill one of your guys, twenty five thousand. Is he attacking to the Go the Gohan here, or is he attacking the Vegeta? I didn't see. I think he's going into the Gohan again. That's a lot of resources wasted going into that Gohan. But yeah, I mean, taking an attack it, off board. It's, it's not. I mean, I, it's, it's. I don't think it's really wasted as long as he like gets cards out of his hand. I mean, which he did. Got a counter. That's fine. Doesn't matter who you attack at that point, right? So, Absolutely. We see three green energy and two blue energy for Richard Castle. Yeah, so it means his whole deck should be turned on. He can play about anything in the deck. Except maybe a Prince of Speed Vegeta if he runs any of those. But or a expect. big Broly. Yeah, or a big Broly. Broly. That's true. You see your players playing Kel. Uh, Number Kel. four, please report to the stage. He can kill the Frieza with, with Kel. Players no means. He also has a Beerus, too. He could play Beerus here, kill the Frieza. Or play his energy, I meant. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> it's okay, Dusty. It's, it's only round five. We got, you know, four more rounds. It's true, it's true. 
There's none? Oh, the dream is dead. No, but I saw <laughs> one of each of the draft pack leaders at least. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then I saw like six uh, Galactic Freezes. Or no, uh, the Golden Freezes. Oh, cool. I can't believe how many uh, Golden Freezes are up here in Florida. Uh, you never see him back home. I like that card. Him. He's good. After like the first four weeks, we started selling. Man, this is not fast. There are no intentional draws at the circuit series. Fifty thousand to twenty-five thousand. There are no intentional draws at the circuit series. People asking why Castle has his leader in the battle area versus the leader area. Honestly, well, he I, just does that. Well, I think it's also I think it's just he's helping us out on the stream. You know, making sure that it's close, everything is close together, we can see it. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think he's anything like intentional. Well, it's but just a castle. Go with a one life, Peter. Deciding to do that. Taking that hit for that beam. Yeah. Interesting. That tells me he might be trying to go in all in next turn. So Fifteen thousand. Probably see a counter here. We do have one counter in there. But I don't know. I would save it. My my opponent's uh my opponent's uh you know has six energy. Off that bean, I would untap that yellow though because now he's gonna have oh, to struggle. He's gonna saying. have to take the first hit. That's a good point. That's a very good point actually. I don't know if that was a misplay or, or just plain intentional, but now he's got two blue untapped with one bean left in his hand. Oh, uh, so Jimmy just let me know that there is a. Uh, hey, Jim. Are, are you like are you Jimmy the Dragon? Is that? Uh, are yeah, you, yeah, yeah, okay, I thought so. Yeah, so Jimmy, uh, Jimmy the Dragon from the uh, community discussion group, just let us know there's a 5-0 Trunks deck. I think we're grabbing that next. Yeah, I guarantee you we're grabbing that next. I love watching that deck. <laughs> I can watch that deck play all day. Absolutely. I could, I could follow, that's like music. Every time I see that deck play, it's just so smooth. Maybe it's just the money playing it, because he just plays it so smooth. I don't know what it is. But every time I see that deck, I'm just like, yes, yes, sir. It's so beautiful. All right, using the deciding to use the Frieza here. I like that. I like that he's keeping his counter up because you know your opponent has six energy open. You're expecting a big threat coming down here, so that gives you a way to uh, to stop it. I like it. I think the Kale's coming up. No, nope. Beerus. Beerus. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that Golden Frieza. Yeah, I love that card. That card's so cool. We're gonna see Castle go ahead and try and board clear his opponent now, so that he just can't do anything next turn. And with a hand that's only three cards, it's looking like it's going to be a rough turn next yeah. turn. Like you said, I think he should have readied a yellow. Then he could have cold ball less of the Beerus. Yeah. Then his board's looking a lot better. Because now he's going to have to combo with the Sensu Bean if he wants to go ahead and bloodless whatever else comes out. Uh, we're going to see the turn pass over to Peter. But with his hand, it's just looking like it's going to be an uphill battle for him. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, I mean... It was like just a little bit of a misstep from Peter. Maybe he thought he was at two life or something. Maybe he thought he could have used the life or something to do it. And he was like, oh, wait, crap. Uh, sometimes you just, you know, you get into the same rhythm too. You're like, I always up tap two blue because blue's awesome and I want to do that. And you just maybe accidentally mess up there. I mean, blue's okay. Yeah, blue's not say it's good. awesome. <laughs> We're going to see the Mega Freeza swinging in once again into the Vegeta leader. At this point, I think he's just praying for something. He needs a play. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, 15,000. Coming in, drawing that card. I assume he's gonna drop the boo at some point this match. We're gonna see the swing in on the Gohan again. He has to get these threats out of here. He can't. He knows he can't survive if he just doesn't. The problem is he's not drawing that many threats. Uh, he does have another Mecha Frieza in hand. That's very important because he can attack with this, play out Mecha Frieza, you know, put it back to his hand, kill the Beerus. So he has potential to wipe the Vegeta's board here, which is very good. Is that his name? The, is that the Trunks player? Okay, do you want to write that down? It, it was Alan? Okay, awesome. Alan, Alan, man. Alrighty. So that's going to be an awesome next match. Have another Trunks in there. I love Trunks. That's so cool. I saw it when I was walking past it. I was like, Ooh, who's going to be high? Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That's he's awesome. One of the local oh, is he, you said he was a local? Yeah. Nice. Nice. He's local from, from Florida? And he's I don't know trucks. who he is. Do, do I know him? Do I know him? He already went as match. Yeah, that's pretty savage. The Frieza coming out again. He was able to kill the Gohan, and now he's bounced the Beerus. But the hand's looking a little rough. Salty Man Cat asking what deck is 5-0. Yeah, Trunks. That's insane. Trunks. 5-0 Trunks. I'm excited for that next round. I'm definitely gonna run over there afterwards and ask him if he's willing to come on stream. Oh yeah, definitely. That's that's sick. 
Oh, actually, you guys have asked about Anthony, too. Anthony Hernandez. He is undefeated. So he's yep. undefeated. I think it looks like he's on second seat right now. So, he, you know, he's probably third seat right now. Uh, yeah. So doing very good. Actually, I didn't even know he was here. All righty. Both players thinking about what play to do next because this clearly could end disastrously for Peter if he can't right. figure something out. Yes, sir. Yes. Could be devastating. Did leave one yellow on tap this time. <laughs> oh, he did. did yeah. leave one on tap. Learned his lesson, as it turns out. Yeah, you know, that beer wouldn't have gone through if he had left it. Yeah. But look, there's so much removal in Richard's hand, though. He has like three Gohan promos and a cow. <laughs> and then two, what is that, two Go Tanks? Yeah, I love it. One Go Tanks. Yeah, and a Go Tanks. So. Wow. Actually, it's like two Gohan promos, a cow, and a He charged Go the other Go Tanks, that's why. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw him play that Go Tanks right now and then turn around and drop a, a kale. Here's a Gohan promo. Gohan so anyway, he wants to kill. I, I guess it's going to be that Frieza. But I can also expect to see a Cobolus here. I think Peter deciding if it's worth it, though. He's on the side it is. Protect. Great matchup. He's, a, uh, he's just lost his first loss. His uh, Mecha Frieza, but it spins the Vegitos. Huh. Oh, yeah. That That's was cool. the other one I was looking at to pull over. That's really cool. Maybe we'll get both. Maybe Trunks will play them. It'd be cool. No, no, he, he, oh, he, he lost. He lost. Okay. okay, here. Looks like Peter decided if he wants to counter or not. He's going to go for that counter. He's going to go ahead and negate it. Get that negate. Solid play. Yeah, very good play. I wonder if, I wonder if they'd be countering. Well, no, never mind. You're at one life. You have to counter both. So never mind. I wonder yeah, if you, you should you counter stop yeah. it. I keep forgetting he's at one life. He's got there so fast. <laughs> like, I actually don't think Richard's landed a hit on him. I mean, maybe it was like one or two, but it was just like, it just seems like he's lost so much life from this. Most of it's self inflicted. Yeah, yeah. Castle going through and looking, I assume, for negates. I think he's used two. Also, has the other Gohans in hand, too. The ones that search out Piccolo. Castle's got two negates in hand currently. Yeah. There's no reason for Richard, uh, for Richard to go in here. He's at four life. His opponent has very few cards in hand. They can just play it safe. But that's the thing about this game. It's so tempting sometimes to go all in. You know, you're just like, I got this. I can do it. And they have three piccolos in hand and you lose. But uh, I don't think I don't think Richard's in that situation right now, though. Or in my case, like in round two, triple Jocko into quad Dodoria. There you go. <laughs> That'll get you. I was like, you got it, dude. Going to go ahead and bring out that freeze. And not sure I agree with that because now he's tapped out. Yeah. Oh, All right, Richard going to uh, just pass? Okay. Okay, solid. Yeah, not really much he has to play. He doesn't have a sense of being in hand or anything like that, so he couldn't play it like Cal or anything. But. Well, he did have the play where he could have dropped, you know, the Go Tanks and then into a Kale. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, no. And then drawn a card, so. Yeah, I think Richard just knows there's no reason to. But he's, he's playing the right He's playing the right way. Richard's making sure that he's trying to bait out these Cold Blood Lusts out of the removal cards. Now, like, once you get enough of them out, then you can start dropping your heavy hitters like Go Tanks. And that's Castle's absolute method. He's very methodical about the way that he'll just slowly pick, and he doesn't make his push until he's absolutely sure he can kill you with it. Oh. So he'll sit there, and Castle has no problem passing turn six turns in a row. Sure. Yep. Playing a card past a turn. And it sounds like it sounds like it's an easy thing to do, too. It sounds like, oh, I just won't I won't kill him until I know I can win. That sounds, that sounds easy. It's actually really difficult to in restrain game, yourself. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's like, you always think, like, well, this is the turn. Hey, right, 50,000 to 15,000. Frieza into Gohan. Promo here. Richard is letting it die. Very smart. Keeping that hand advantage up. How we have some, some hurt coming. There's a counter. First negate. Also Chaco. Probably not what he wants to see here. Is, is a piece to help him keep alive, which is good. But I'm thinking he wants another threat. I'm curious to know how many of the dabbing Whis he's running because he's got that play. Yeah, try and survive. that's true. That's true. He could play uh, Bulma into, into Whis. Survival. Yeah. Now what's happening out, though? Well, he'd have to be on one of his attacks. Sure. Probably on the Frieza. But with Castle at four life, he's probably just fine taking some of these hits, to be honest. Well, absolutely, yeah. When he counters a single striker with double striker on the board, you can almost guarantee that he's not going to let that double striker come through. And there is the Sensu Bean on the Frieza, bringing it up to 20k into the Vegeta leader. Yeah, 20k to 15k. It's possible Castle just decides to take this as well. Go up to three, take the double strike. You're at one card, but you have you just got three cards, plus one off your turn, plus another off the draw. And go in the next turn. Alright, Richard.
Archer dropping the uh, combo in. 10,000 off the Gohan promo. Gohan promo is so good. I mean, it's okay. It's great defensively, it's great offensively. It's just such a great great card. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, man, never forget purple. Oh, purple, here we go. <laughs> Here's four energy. Here comes Devil that Weiss. Weiss. Told you. Yeah, he talked about Solid it. play. Solid play. It's going to help him survive one of the attacks. With the negate in his hand, he'll be able to survive two attacks. The question is how much we're going to be able to see Castle throw on the board this turn. We're going to see the turn passed over to the opponent. Wow. Looks like Castle's running the, uh, the Gohan Piccolo engine. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I thought about that a couple of turns ago. That he had the Gohan in hand. Yeah, I didn't know what Gohan. He's, oh, he's, he's yeah, that's true. Gohan. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a fair point. There's he's a lot played, of Gohans. He's played two Gohans this turn. I mean, like last turn. So you're right. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, it probably should be more clear. But I guess it does make sense. Yeah, yeah, that's it's fine. To pull the Piccolo in. Yeah, it's a good. Com I mean, it's a good combo. A lot of damage potential. Chaco and a single negate in hand. I would be willing to say this. This game could possibly be over right now. It could be. Because all Castle has to do is drop the Go Tanks. Untap to play the Gohan, search Piccolo, and that's three, three attacks added to the board. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see five taps, so the Go Tanks is gonna come out. There's Go Tanks. Here he is, choosing two blue. Going two back, blue. Go out the five energy. Draw on this card. You draw another Go Tanks. That'd be awesome. Looks like it's a Goku. Yeah. Or no, I think that was the Gohan, right? Or do you already have one in hand? No, he's right. Two drop Gohan. Goku. Yep. Is Goku. Probably expect a Vegeta attack to come out here first. Let him draw a card, see what he draws. He's going to pay four. Moving into the Gohan play. See, I can see the future. You can, yeah, you can. <laughs> you said purple. Yeah, you're right. All right. You got me. going to get this Piccolo. Wouldn't it be a shame if, if there, there was another one. Piccolo in here? Oh, he goes for the oh, boost attack. Oh, goes for <laughs> boost. That's still good. It's still good. It's still another attacker. It's still a plus. Yeah. It's a free pickle on the and board it, that you can combo with. You still get 10,000 when you combo with it. Yeah. Right? So, like, even when it's on the field, right? Yep. Yeah. When you combo with it, you will see right. same thing as normal. Yeah. So, essentially, just searched out a combo piece. I mean, a uh, 10,000 piece. I mean, that's... That in itself is good. It was, it was a clear play. It was a clear play to put an extra attack on the board. Here we go. And the onslaught begins. Two cards in hand. 15,000, what is he gonna do here? He's got one blocker. One block. All right. Go right, hunt swinging in. Yeah, this is 20,000 double strike, correct? Correct. Not that it matters, but I was making sure. I haven't seen that card yeah. very often. You know, there's still a, a Boo and a Bulma on the board that he can combo with. Uh, what do you, what do you see a Boo at? There's a Majin Boo right there. Oh, I thought you were talking about Richard. Okay. No, 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 no. There's the counter. We're going to go ahead and negate that. Not sure I would have negated that attack. I would have saved it for the extra 5k that's yeah, coming in on the Go Tanks. Oh. Huh. Dropping a boost attack, Piccolo, bringing it up to 35k currently. And dropping a Sense Bean as well. It's now 40k double strike. 50k, 55,000. It's a 55. And it's going to be over right here. Even with the one Jocko, it's just not. <laughs> Peter's like, is that so? Check out my Jocko. Okay. So that is. 30. 30 to 40. 45, I mean. It's 40. And they're going to go ahead and move into game two. Yeah, Richard taking that. I think I got this kind of working. And by that I mean not at all. Absolutely, because you know, we're only happy when our technology yeah. doesn't break on us. Right, right. Well, so I, got, I, got, I got it kind of working. Right. Your final I'll round fix that. I'll fix that for the next one. I'll take it uh, where I can get it. Right. Take please it. find your seat and get set up. Yeah. Definitely a good deck. Once again, Very good. Welcome, my players. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk to them. If you guys want to ask some questions, right. hey, Archie Live. If you guys want to ask questions, go ahead and tag me. Actually, you don't even need to tag me. There's not many of you actually talking in the chat. So just say something. We've got the iPad up right. Ah, yeah with the chat up and I'll be able to answer any questions including what the meaning of life is and the answer is 42 Dusty. 
don't know what that means. It's okay. It's a Futurama joke. I'm sorry that I've, I've left you. I've, I've left you guys in the hands of him. He negated the wrong attack. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I was right. I mean, it's hard to tell. We don't know. It's you know, like I, I suppose he's dead. I mean, at the end of the day, he's dead no matter which one he negates. Yeah. Right? So like, it doesn't matter. I, I mean, it does matter. I think the 25 k is probably better. But can I give you a makeover? I mean, I'm rocking a Gohan right now. I'm not gonna lie. This part of my hair is just not long enough. <laughs> Why is the sound quality so bad? Oh, is the sound quality bad? What do you mean? Is it because like, of the background he, noise? Do you or not hear it? us talking very well, or what's? <laughs> Help us. Tell us what's wrong so we can adjust. Do we have the right mic? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, you could mic me. I'll put the headphones on and get mic'd in the headphones. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a headphone? The mic for the yep. headphones? There is. Is it just booty? I mean, it sounds like, you know, yeah, that, booty. That, that but sounds like that would be a terrible idea. Uh, the sound is low. Okay. I assume for me because... I don't know. Well, you, I that, mean, it's not a cardioid mic, is it? Right, right. No, it's it's, it's just like, I can get it out maybe a little bit. I mean, it's the back of the mic is why. Oh, is it? The, yeah. Oh my Cause we switched god. Because we switched it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Spin it. That's that's actually just that's our fault. Just spin it real quick. Well, I can't. I mean, it's on this thing. I can't just spin it. Okay. So I'll plug I, it. We'll just switch it over. Uh, so much effort. Audio seems distorted and faint. Yeah, yeah. That's because. For those of you who don't know anything about uh, audio equipment, we're using an Audio-Technica mic. The front half of the microphone is where the sound is picked up. We're talking to the wrong side because earlier we had to switch everything yeah, yeah, to, to it, the opposite side. Yeah. And we just, I forgot to switch it over, so I'll, I'll switch that right now. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick for you. I'm going to talk into this side so you can hear me. Right, let's just get, let's get to the game, just in case we, I missed the game. I'll let you do this a little bit. Okay. So while Dusty's going ahead and swapping the mic around, I'm going to be taking over Solo Dolo. Can we get visuals and cards when people play them? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Dusty says we're not going to talk about that. I'm going to say it's a little rough to do. Oh, you want to talk about that. Okay, my bad. Apparently, I have no idea what I'm talking about. The answer to life bit is from Hitchhiker's Guide? I mean, I guess, dude. I heard it from, you know, Futurama. So, you got me. You got me. Now, I'm curious to know what these players both sided. We weren't really paying attention to the side. Uh, I like to have a little bit of a fresh start when I'm going into a match like this. So, we're going to see what happens. Bear with us, guys. There's going to be a little bit of uh, bumpy noises as we go ahead and move this microphone over to the opposite side of the table. Cordero saying the volume's perfect, but huh? Cordero saying the volume's perfect. But that's because I started talking into the opposite side of the microphone, to be honest. Bending it the wrong way. Cool. Now you're in Scotchy ASMR mode. Welcome to WZZARG in uh, the afternoon. Which, which one? Uh, yes, Castle took game one. How to do it? False alarm. I don't know Dusty's overlay, so I can't change. But once we get a chance, we're gonna go ahead and change the game count to game one, going to Richard Castle. By, the, by him saying he doesn't know what it, he means, he doesn't know how to run it. Yeah. And yes, the answer is yes. I did scrub, but it's fine because now you have me here. Now you have me here. We learned tricolor go tanks doesn't like uh, it, it doesn't like okay, hand destruction okay. and uh, all right guys that's probably better right that's probably we're probably getting there is that like it's not terrible probably that's not, that's not good yeah we'll get there it's probably important that it's like here and then we can I scoot over a little bit so you can get I'm gonna there. hug up on you okay all right sorry about that guys oh yeah and I'll talk about that after this the uh, the cards popping up I actually have the ability to do that I have the technical ability that we know exactly how to do it. Uh, the big reason why we don't do it is because it's impossible to do it while you're commentating. So whenever you see people do that, like on Magic streams or Pokemon streams, it's because they have another person that just does nothing but do the overlays and run the chat. Yeah, yeah, he's he's off to the side and he does it, and then the comment. I, if I if sometimes I look down to just change the life, and I completely miss everything that's happened on the screen. So if I had to like go get the cards and stuff too, it, it would. I mean, I could do it. It's just it, I would have no ability to actually commentate. So basically, we would need a, a third person on the... Uh... Yeah, yeah. You just need like a third person to be like the, the, the stream manager that would south the side and run stuff like that, you know, so they, they, would, they would pitch the cards up. 
I wonder who that could be. We could do it. What are we on about? Jimmy could do it. Jimmy could do it. Yeah. We have two monitors. We, if we could set up the monitors, we could do it. Cause, He'd look, have to have the mouse. Yeah, because we have to do is just do, do this on another display, and then we watch that, and he's over here. Yeah. All right, let's get into the game. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Te technical question. You guys got me started talking on, on technical stuff. I'll be talking all day. That's just how it goes. All righty. So we have Peter having a pretty good start here. Playing out Balma. Manaka drawing to two cards. This is a sick turn. I'm going to actually change his health here in a second. It looks like he's already down to three life. No, four health. Already down to four oh, yeah. on turn oh. two. On turn two. That's the Manaka player. He draws draw so many cards for free. Did he drop triple Manaka? Yeah. Oh, my. Yes. That oh. is insane. Wow, we were talking about... Cards. <laughs> Streams. All right. Attack for Dog. <laughs> he's drawn, like, how many cards is in his hand? He has so many cards. That in. is very different from last game. Very different. Very his different, deck is yeah. doing what it's supposed to do. The only problem I see with Peter's deck so far is just the lack of threats so far. Like, I don't see that many ways for him to actually win the game, like, with threats. So, we'll see. I don't see Prince of Spees. I don't see really anything, you know? Yeah, I, I mean... I'm trying to look at his deck right now. I mean, even in his deck, I just see, like, Frieza's and stuff. Like, eh, yeah, I, don't, I don't see that many ways to actually just be, like... Here's a big threat you have to deal with. Here's a big threat you have to deal with. I didn't see any Beeruses. Like the four-drop Beerus? Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't, I haven't seen it. My, guys, by the way, does the sound sound better? Yeah, tell us how we sound. Do we sound good now, guys? Wow. Literal book in hand. Literal novel. Has a small novel in hand. Chapter one's a bunch of freaking defensive spells. <laughs> He's got two dabbing Weezes in hand? And chapter two is called butt lust cards. Does he, have, does he have three in his hand? I thought it's all at the end. No, it's just oh one. My. Just one. Actually, that's actually kind of unreal. Just one of them. That's the real issue. You play a full deck, uh, deck full of extra cards to awaken turn one or two, and you have no win con. Yeah, I mean it's it's possible, but like I said, he's four zero for a reason. So I mean, this deck has to be powerful in some sense. You know, he's not playing against a bunch of bad players up here. Oh, I've nasty! They say we sound hot, bro. Uh oh. Cling 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 clang. Like I was explaining, guys, we were talking at the back of the microphone, so. Yeah, that was our fault. Like I said, when we redid the stream to get it back up, we actually just changed everything around, and I just completely forgot to adjust the mic. So that's I'm pretty sure that's my fault. I was the one that changed it. <laughs> I mean, if he's gonna say it's his fault, I'm not gonna correct him. I mean, you bet. Attention, Pokemon players! Thank you all for coming out to ARG Orlando. Both players with significant sized hands. Right now. <laughs> I know it's insane. They wake it so fast. It just blows me away. Blows me away. See what happens here. And on to Richmond, Virginia, the 20th and the 21st. I assume what Castle's trying and to do is he does have the Gohan in his hand. He's probably going to try and ramp up to four energy next turn and then drop that Gohan to bring the Piccolo out because he's really got to get a handle on his opponent's hand if he's going to get That's true. It's a, it's a, it's a great way to do it, yeah. Rain and energy. Chooses that blue. Because of the 20,000. This is critical, right? Because he awakened this turn? Correct. Pretty big deal. With all that out of the way, Pokemon players, welcome to your sixth and final round. You have 30 minutes plus three. The Spider-Verse saying, Scotch, just use your purple energy and take control of one of his energies. Right? How, what was that? For some of the players, that is time in the round. If you are still in match, please proceed to end the Ah, uh, purple features. energy, here we go. So two trucks down please, now. Raise your hand and call for a judge. Once again, for some of the players, that is time in the round. If you are still in the match, please proceed to end the match procedures. If you need assistance with these procedures, please raise your hand and call for a judge. We're sorry about uh, Judge Josh Bavarnik being so loud. So he is very loud. <laughs> But it's actually, you can't actually hear it that much on the, on the mic, which I'm, I've noticed, which is actually really cool. Yeah, noise gate's been brought in. Yeah. It always stops me from talking the second they start. Yeah, me too. It does. Yeah, me too. I, I, I don't mean to. I just felt like I have to stop. I, I, I've been trying to correct myself. All right. So there he is. Frieza coming down. I've noticed both these decks take a lot of advantage of these combo cards that come in. You know, like there's Gohan's in the blue version and, and Frieza's in the yellow. Very powerful cards. Very solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been messing around with, like, a Vegito aggro deck. I've noticed the same thing. Like, every time I play the Vegeta, the red Vegeta that does the same thing, I'm just like, this card's absurd. Like, it's so good. Absolutely. Piccolo comes out now, so... At the end of his turn, if he doesn't find a way to get rid of it... Which I'm sure he's just going to combo the world. Well, he has to be able to attack into it. And right now it's True. ready. It's not... It's, he, he can't do that. He does technically have four attacks on the board, Oh, he has so. a, he has a, he has a Goten in hand right there at the very bottom, so he can just go to and kill it. That's fair. Yep. It's a fair play. 
which is why you put those in. Man, that's, that's good for Peter. Because going down the six cards right here is unfortunate. This is this is a big hand game. advantage matchup right here. Absolutely. Battle of the books. Battle of the books. Indeed. Greg saying, Scott, you're not giving people free packs anymore? Also, hi, Dusty. Hello, Greg. How are you, buddy? Wish you were here, bud. All right, there's the Goatsen we talked about. Goatsen comes in. Yep. Had to, had to do it. Had to do it. Yeah, no, definitely. He's going to combo a little bit more going up to, uh, to 25. Blue stack Piccolo. Drew objection off that, it looked like. So up to 30. Okay. Opting to play the Majin Buu as a combo piece instead of actually using it to draw a card. Well, I thought you said his next play is going to be to play Gohan. Is that what you said? He's so going to have to do it next so time. That's what you already said he was going to do. So if he does that, he doesn't have the ability to. He's also a three life. I'm so bad at life. It seems like these like these two players are just going very, very quickly to begin the match, and then they just slow down turn five, turn six. Yeah, they accelerate, they awaken, and then they, they, they use their card advantage to, uh, to win out the games. It's a grindy game at that point. Absolutely. See what's still on that turn, turn two ramp. It's like turn one. It's like turn one awakened or something. This is absurd to me. That, right there. Very fast. A lot of cards in hand. All right. Richard, just put his card up there. He's gonna draw that after see if there's a negate. Something to remember, guys, back home, that uh, you don't draw the card until after your opponent has said no negate. So, you know, it's negate, autos, blockers, and then cap. A cap. A cap. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so really important to remember that. I'd opt to believe he's going to play the... Uh, the two drops I Goku? I could be wrong. I yeah, think it, Goku's coming out. At three life, you can't tap out. There's, I, I just feel like you can't do it. Using that two green to play out Goku, drawing a card. Ooh, didn't see what he got. Ooh, it looks like it's something spicy, though. There's a boo. Going for those draws now. Yeah, yeah, just thinning off that deck. Just infinite combo plays. And you know what I always say, deck thinning is deck winning. I've never heard you say that before. I say it it's all the, the time. first time I've heard you the, ever say all that. All the time. All the time. I say it all the time. Don't come at me about that. I'm just saying, no one's ever heard you say oh that. Oh my god. Alrighty, let's see what Peter's going to do here. Has that cold bullust. Still wanting to hit something with it. Holding on to it. Yeah. He needs to put a yellow down. I don't think he really wants to, to go down to three life yeah, after it, what happened last game. Yeah, it could be rough to do that for sure. But the only yellow card he has in hand is his bloodlust. So if he... I'm expecting he probably see this objection come down as his energy, then he'll just go up there. Can I choose the Whis blocker? Dab and Whis coming in his energy. He did search him, so... Yeah, it also didn't seem very effective last game, honestly. It didn't seem like it did a whole lot. Well, I mean, it just prolonged the inevitable. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah, I think that I think the boo is uh, the two boo in hand are, are very powerful. Looks like three boo in hand. What was it three boo in hand? Again, Peter just needs to find some kind three of pressure. Three in hand. Honestly, I, at this point, why not? <laughs> why not drop all three? Going to play out the blocker, tap out at four energy, at four life, tap no out. No bean in hand. No bean. I didn't see a turn. bean. I don't. I, I can't see. He doesn't have a goat in the hand. Uh, he has another go in hand. Yeah, he does. Yeah, that's you can't play objection for free though, so it's it's not a bad idea to keep those because you can kind of trick your opponent sometimes into thinking that you know, like oh he's only at four energy, there's no way he can get the six next turn, and then he does. And you're like oh crap. Mm -hmm. Mistakes were made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Very interesting board setup for both players. Though. It is, yeah, a lot, a lot different than last game. I think at this point last game, Peter had like four freezes out, and you know Richard had a bunch of like big threats and a bunch of removal. You Peter know? had three cards in hand. Right. <laughs> a lot different. A lot different game. I like that Frieza though. I love that Frieza card. I think, I think he's very underrated. See, I just don't like when he does that. I don't like when he drops that trunks. It physically hurts me seeing that trunks in energy. Really? Yeah, it's just too good. I mean, it's really it's good, good, but so is every card in his hand right now. He I has know, so many removal cards. He has you like... can tap yourself out to turn around, drop that, untap, Morning. go into sensitive. Like it's just an instant recovery play. 
I mean, it's a grindy matchup, though. That's the thing. This Gohan? Is yeah. Gohan? Gohan? Or I don't do Beerus. Beerus is the wrong player right now. Gohan it is. Gohan it is. This, this is a grindy matchup, and I don't think you can afford to put, like, any of your big threats in the field. Ooh, straight into the bloodlust. Hey, going to three. If I'm Bridget, I'm okay with that. I have no I have, I have, no worries about that play. I'd much rather that I get Cold Bloodlust than my, you know, all my other cards in hand. Absolutely. I, I don't think Peter could afford not to Cold Bloodlust, though. That's the thing. I don't think he could. Because getting that plus another, uh, another, uh, actually, he has a, he has a Goten in hand. Maybe he could. Because he can still deal with it. I mean, he's on, you know, having to defend so against it. I assume the threat really comes in with the double strike more so than the bringing out the Piccolo, because he does have a way to get rid of the Piccolo. He's gonna go ahead and drop that boot. Using that boot to stop that damage? Again, very grindy matchup. I like it. Maybe we'll see that objection coming on this time. Has energy. Attention, Dragon Ball. Do not choose that freeze. All right, there it is. I'm mean, gonna guess that's one way to play an objection. Yeah, I'm curious to see what he decides to do here. Oh, he's attacking into the leader. Three to three life. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Drew a counter. Probably not what he wants to see right here. Gonna get a boo off the table from that attack. Fifteen thousand into fifteen thousand again. Frieza into Vegeta. Goku probably going away. Yeah, I can see that being a pretty reasonable play. And that's exactly what happens. There he goes. Because I can see the future. You can't, you can't tell the future. All right. You guys can't see it, but Dusty's just shaking his head in disappointment at what I'm saying. <laughs> Not too, that happens a lot. <laughs> it's been the theme of this weekend. Yeah, so Frieza coming in, returning the Buddha hands. Getting rid of that Gohan. Attacking 25,000 double strike. Three life, 50,000 to 20, or 25,000 to 15,000. Double striking. Plenty of combo power sitting in Castle's hand. Yeah, he could use life and Sensu being here and then, you know, be able to play a boo out to get a little more card draw and protect himself again next turn. Let's see what he decides to do. A lot of stuff he could do. He's going to choose no combo and then Richard's going to respond with a Gohan. And a Piccolo. And boost attack? I guess we're digging again. Yeah. Richard has a heck of a hand, I'll tell you, man. He has so many threats on there to scare me to death. <laughs> like, every, every one of those cards in that hand just, like, looks like the most terrifying thing I've seen. Double Beerus in hand. Goten. Gohan. Two Gohans. Negate. Gotenks. Just so much removal. Just everything. Just so much He's removal. He's got the world in his hand He does. Currently. Yep. He has an answer to just about anything Peter can play. Peter, Peter, fantastic player. See what he decides to do. Going to put the Gohan down. I can agree with it. Well, I mean, like, I don't know. It, like, it, it looks questionable, but honestly, like every card in Richard's hand is so good, they all would be questionable to play as energy, honestly. So. Here's Sensu Bean. He's in that life. This time. Since you've been on his Frieza here, so on the, uh, the combo Frieza, going up to 20,000. Looks like he was just wanting to protect that from the Vegeta attack. So, you know, he needs more threats on board. Uh, attention, Dragon Ball Super Wing of Matt number two. I need mean, Scott Winters and Erkin Hawkelar. Here is coming out. Super so like Frieza. To so pop the Frieza. Yep. yep. Later, Frieza. Had a good run. Pretty good. The four drop beats the five drop. At this point last game, Peter was looking really rough, but triple negate in hand. Yeah. He's Triple definitely surviving. The thing is, what is he surviving too? I think Peter's at two life currently. Oh yeah, he is. Two to three, Peter to Richard. So fifteen thousand into fifteen or twenty thousand. Still no yellow energy out for Peter. Yeah, I mean, this is playing a lot more like the, the mono blue deck that he was talking about, you know, like telling you about. 
So gonna go ahead and kill it regardless. <laughs> Alright, only thing left is the Soul Reese. One untapped blue energy for Castle. That's a big deal. I mean, honestly, giving one of his cards double strike can be a fantastic play. Or a good energy card. Went through a lot of Monaco already. Yes, he did. Went through three, I think, the first turn, so. Mm -hmm. Debating on the attack with the Becca Frieza. And we see it come into the leader Vegeta once again. There's the Cobalt Lust. Killing the Gohan. Okay, killing the Gohan. Effectively just slowly picking at Castle's board. Yeah, I mean, it, it's clear. funny because they're both doing almost the same thing, you know? Hey, there's a reason these guys are both 4-0 right, right now. Right, right. I mean, it's very powerful what they're doing. Nice. Beerus Ooh, killing the Beerus. Just clearing it. 20,000? Into I really appreciate Castle putting those die on there. I do too. It's actually really <laughs> cool. Bringing out another. It helps, it helps remember. You know, it's really good for the stream. It's really good for the player. It shows good sportsmanship. Just want to keep a clean board state. Absolutely. That's one thing I've noticed. If, if someone asked me, and I get asked it quite a bit, like what's something that high level players all do, and I would say keep a clean board state. You know, they, they always have their little. They always have different things they do, right? But like they always keep the state clean and clear and like that way they always know they never misread their own state you know exactly how much energy each player has right. yep the only thing that castle does that i don't really agree with is the fact that his leader's in the center of the battle area i still think he's don't have to help us out on stream no he just does that <laughs> he just does that i know well enough it's just the thing he does paying four go ahead another beerus, beerus. It's the Beerus show. To pop into the Beerus. It's just been back and forth Beerus. Cobalust. That's, what, that's what I need to do. Goes to one life, though. Ooh. Scary, scary. Now we're in grind time. Real grind time. Yeah, I guess being at one life against the Beerus, I mean, two life is the same thing, so. Again, multiple negates for Peter. So he's yeah, still yeah. in a better situation than he was at this point last game. Yeah, he's feeling pretty good. But can he afford to... Like, what's he stalling into? That's the thing. I feel like just the longer this game prolongs for Peter, it's just better for Castle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think what Peter probably will have to do is go all in next turn and try to win off of it. Um, or he's just going to die. You see, but I play Vanguard as well, Demonic, and I don't do that. Do what? Uh, talking about how in Vanguard, most Vanguard players will put the leader in the center because that's where it is in the game. Oh, but I do understand that, that method behind it. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, 15,000. So we get negated. Absolutely. Snap negate. Easy negate. Snap negate. Blocker and negate. Solid solid survival, though. Solid oh, yeah, survival. yeah. He has a lot of survival in hand. He has a pretty powerful attack back. He can attack back with that Weiss, too, if he wants to. Novels have been cut down to uh, Cliff Notes now. What is it? The novels have yeah, been cut down yeah. to Cliff Notes versions. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they're the... Uh, what do you call that? Like it's like the summaries of books. It's Synopsis. Like, no, no, I mean sure, but it, like they call them something. You buy them at like Barnes and Noble and like bookstores and stuff. Cliff notes. Oh, they call, is it called Cliff notes? Yes, the Cliff notes. Oh. <laughs> Always doubt me. I thought, they're, I thought they're calling something more fancy than that. Mm, no. Yes, Greg. Nine rounds. Nine rounds. Top thirty-two. Top thirty-two cut. Two hundred. You said eighty-six players. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Two eighty-eight. No big deal. Trying to go ten, man. I just wish Peter could get a. Th I feel like he's like gonna kill that. So uh, gonna kill that Gohan. He also has a Beerus attack into a Beerus uh, if this fails. No negates for Castle, so if he does decide to push right now, it could be really rough. Yeah. It could be really rough, and potentially he could steal this game back. Ooh. Another cold bullet. That's awesome. Not, no. Oh, he no. didn't have yellow, though. It's dead. No. It's dead. That's, like, not as awesome as I originally thought it was us. <laughs> no, it's it's dead right now. I keep thinking Bulma's a, a yellow energy. There's just so much yellow on that card. Absolutely. Multiple Jocko is in Peter's hand right now. Currently yeah. a two with a blocker Weiss and a dead Cold Bloodlust. Haven't seen many Jadorias for a moment. Yeah, I don't think I've seen one. I mean, I'm sure there was. 
as right. much as they've gone through their decks, oh, yeah. like you're not seeing a lot of boosts. I mean, look at his deck. It looks like just a, it's a, it's very. Well, it's, that's for sure his life up there. <laughs> you're right. I know I'm right. All right, gets the Beerus. 30,000 to 20,000. Richard not using the. Uh... Drop the second dab and we I like it. Two like blockers it. and a negate. So he can survive potentially this turn, depending on what castle top yeah. picks. The thing is, like, can he win, though, if he survives? Maybe. No, I don't know. He's going to have to push. Richard down to four cards. It's a big deal. Four to three. He does have a pretty decent play here, though, with, uh, with Boo into Kale. Draws him a card, kills the thumping. Kills the beers. You and your players, that is time in the round. If you are still in the please push He'll still draw the off the tail. Yeah. It so he'll get the plus one off the tail if he decides to play. Which Once honestly again, you looks like it might be the only play he can do. Yeah, he keeps drawing like more defensive cards. Oh, he uses the cheetah's ability. First time in a while we've seen that. That is. That's the first. He's going to go ahead and go up to 25,000. Well, he has to have seven blue for that. He doesn't have seven oh, blue. Oh, is it? It's seven blue? Yeah, he has seven okay. blue, yeah. False alarm. Sorry, False I alarm. lied. Jeez, if he can get plus 10,000 here, that would be very scary for old Peter. This is going to block. Absolutely. Smart play. That's why they're there. See if Richard decides to uh, combo to... Uh, to kill this squeeze. I don't think he'd afford to give let Peter keep these two blockers on the field though, so I think he does need a pressure. The thing is how we know how he'll do it. So did the, the, the we sound better? Hmm? Do we sound better? The yeah. Say yeah, no, they they said a while back. Oh god. A while back. Good. Alright, so there's the Sensu Bean that we talked about. Twenty thousand, twenty thousand, that Weast dies. Did he combo with that Weiss instead of blocking? I think he comboed with it. No, 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 he died. He, he used Sensu Bean. He hasn't put his dice on there yet. Mm. There's go, Tinks. Giving the old thumbs up. Peter's like, yep, nothing I can do about that. I mean, there is. Just can't play it. Dead card. Unfortunately. Ripping Richard, another go yep, card. Richard getting that go, Tinks himself. No way to untap it, though. Go pay four. Okay, I'll Jeez. Gonna definitely clear that. Dragon period. Ball Super Players, that is time in the round. If you are still in the match, please proceed to end the match procedures. If you need assistance with these procedures, please raise your hand and call All right. for a judge. 20,000 into 20,000. Critical. Draw a card. If you are still in the match, please proceed to end the match procedures. If you need assistance with these procedures, please raise your hand and call for a judge. Clinch. Clinch play just now. It was so good. What did he? What did he kill with the kill? I believe he conceded just now. Oh no! It's not. What did he kill with the kill? Did he just not kill anything with the with the kill? I guess not. Why don't you? Why don't you go? I'm gonna go over there. Yeah. Because it didn't get Cobolas, right? Like uh, that's not incorrect. Timothy Garrett Bethera, up to the front, please. Timothy Garrett Bethera, up to the front, please. Yeah, Scotch is going to check on that. I don't think he killed anything with it. Yeah, I'm wrong, but... He went ahead and targeted... It appears that he actually targeted the... Uh, the Weiss? The Weiss. But he can't, he can't kill oh. the Weiss. Exactly. So That's why, why I'm a little confused. Yeah, why he target the Weiss, I wonder. He had the definite kill on that. Okay, so what happened there? Concede. I assume the concede. It might be uh, Peter's win there. Okay, I'm still blown away. So he chose the Weiss blocker? Yeah, he chose to, he chose to hit Did the Weiss with Did he think he could... think he could... Okay, so maybe he just thought it, it, it died. I... And then he forgot? So he must have just forgot? If Peter won that, then he just literally threw that game. I think this is over. Peter looks like he's like a sigh of relief right here. Like he's like, yeah. Why, why don't you, why don't you jog over there and see what's happening? It looks like they're siding. I mean, they're siding. They're going for game two. I, I don't think game they can three. play. I, I game three. I don't think they can play game three. Oh nope. It, it looks like they are siding it and yeah. in castle one. 
Oh, Castle it one. looks like Castle one. Because go back, they're signing the slip. One no, one. one. They, just know they, they, just, they just know they can't play the third it's game. A draw. Yeah. So it looks like that match does end in a draw. Unfortunate. But it happens, guys. So was that? So was that? Was that really Richard targeting the Weiss on accident? You think? I, I, I think. I mean, honestly, once time was called, I don't think he cared. I'm not sure what just happened there, to be honest. That's I'm actually not sure uh, at all. Well, I saw. I saw that. I saw he tied. I'm saying that, like, but he he targeted the Weiss with, with Kale. Kale. Did he just is a misplay. You think? Or is it, okay. Oh, he did. Okay. We we have no audio. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I guess it was just a misplay. All right, that happens, guys. I mean, he's round five. That's a, that's a lot, there's been a lot of games of Dragon Ball Super, as it turns out, so it's easy to do.